What's up guys, my name is Ace and welcome to today's episode of Black Ops 2 Maps Exposed. The map that you guys voted for in the comments of the last episode was Drone, so we're going to be going over Drone today. So first up, Domination Capture Spots. For CDOM there isn't anything too interesting except that you can jump up on this cliff and you can sort of edge your way over and you can capture the sea flag from up here. I don't know why you'd want to do this, but I thought I'd show you anyways. Moving on to BDOM, this is actually one of the most difficult flags in the game to capture. But if you know the right capture spots, it's not too bad. So coming from the CDOM side, this is probably your best bet, is to capture it in front of the van. But you can also come up close to this wall, and that'll give you quite a bit of coverage as well, and it's not as expected. From the other side, you can come up behind this barrel. This is my favorite spot, because you're protected from the sniper there, and you can get a good view of the guys coming out of that ramp up top, and that little area right there, while capturing the flag at the same time. And you can also capture B from the other side here as well, and this is a great spot too because you can use this little concrete area for cover. Next we have the A flag, and for the A flag there's nothing really too secret, but it's pretty obvious you use these concrete dividers as cover, and it really depends on the situation on which concrete divider you want to use and how you want to position yourself there, but there's lots of great spots for cover to capture the A flag from. So moving on, I have a nice little line of sight. You can jump up on top of this van here, and you can look through the door that's coming onto the helipad. You are pretty exposed up here, but if you know that that's where the enemy's coming from, then it's a great spot to have a nice line of sight onto them. So now a thing that I'm sure everybody knows by now, but I thought I'd point it out just in case somebody doesn't know. You can jump over, and you can run across to the helipad, and you can go back the same way as well. Right in the back area of this map, near the A flag, there's a great spot for snipers to shoot from. They can shoot right to the middle of the map here from behind this railing, and they're pretty much invisible. Now for one of my favorite lines of sight on this map. This is really amazing to know. You can uh, drop down from the helipad onto here, and you can look right through the little grate on the helipad, and you can actually see the catwalk there with the doorway, and people love to hang out there. So you can pick them off through there, and they'll have no idea where it's coming from. I also just wanted to point out that you can drop down onto this propane tank, although I don't know why you'd want to do it. There's really no purpose. It doesn't help you out at all. <laughs> I'm not much of a sniper, but if you are going to snipe and you want to be up on this helipad, the best place to do it would be to jump up on the edge of this helicopter and you can head glitch over top of it. This is way better than exposing yourself behind the crate over there or that little desk. And the last thing to show you on the helipad is that you can creep across onto this little ledge and you can use this wall as cover, although you can shoot through it really easily, so just be aware of that. And it's not really the greatest spot, but it's really nice to know that it's there. Moving on, I have a really awesome spot underneath the helipad. It's looking into that area there and you can just see a little bit of it, but sometimes you'll catch a guy off guard there and you can pick him off and he'll have no idea where you are. Now on the middle of the map here, I know this is all really obvious to a lot of people, but I thought I'd just show every way that you can get up into these windows, just in case you didn't know one or two of them, or if somebody didn't even know you could do that, then now you know. Right by BDOM, you can actually jump right on top of this van, and you can use it to look down into the area under the helipad or across to that area. You are really exposed here, but maybe in a 1v1 situation, that would work out. Moving on to the building near CDOM, you can actually jump up on the desk at the back of the, near the wall here, and you can see that doorway really clearly without exposing yourself to that window across the way right there. And to take the guys out that are hanging out here, I have a really awesome line of sight because you can shoot through that little window pane really easily. So if you're in the middle of the map, you can look across here and you can actually shoot right through that, no problem. And I've taken guys out there so many times and they have no idea what hit them. So from this area here, you can actually jump across to these vents and you can look through here, although you are extremely visible because the backdrop really makes you uh, stand out. So it's not the greatest spot. It may seem like you're being sneaky, but it's not good. But you can also use them for cover this way. And this is a great little head glitch spot and people use this all the time. So be aware of the campers that just sit here all game, but also in a situation you may want to use that yourself. From this catwalk here, you can actually jump across to this little area. It's not a very good spot to be because you are really exposed and you don't have much cover. But it is good to know that it's there. And if you do edge your way really close to this edge, 
then you do protect yourself from the guys that are standing behind the helicopter, so that's nice at least. And you can get a really nice view to that area t going towards ADOM. Going the other way, you can actually get a really nice view in towards the CDOM flag, but once again, you are really exposed, so I really wouldn't recommend using this spot. If you spawn at the C flag and you're coming out towards the middle of the map here, it's, this is a great line of sight looking towards that barrel, because sometimes people like to camp there and try and spawn trap you. Up on this sniper's cliff here, there's a little bit of a crack you can look through, and you can watch that area as well. This is great for capture the flag if you're camping the flag. So next, I just wanted to point out that you can jump across to this shipping container from this rail, but it really isn't that advantageous to be up here. You are extremely exposed, and you don't gain any special lines of sight or anything like that. And from up here, you can jump across to the top of this van, although once again, pretty useless spot. You're extremely exposed, and there's really no situation where this is advantageous that I can think of. So moving on inside the drone factory area, you can come under these, underneath these stairs here. I know it's pretty obvious for most of you, I'm sure, but it's a great spot for defending the bomb site there or calling in a kill streak. Now up in this room, people like to sit right, right up against this windowsill and they're really exposed there. Instead, you can come back here and you're almost invisible back here. You can look through here and just kind of head glitch this and you can see everyone across the way. Or you can come behind this counter as well and you get a pretty good view and you're also quite hidden. Another thing you can do with that counter is you get a really good bomb angle. You can jump up here and just edge your way over and you can see the bomb perfectly. And you can also see into that back window area there too so that's a really nice spot to know as well. So now getting into the other side there's a similar spot that gives you an angle on that window right there just from this counter and that's a nice spot to know. And right back here is your best bet for a head glitch spot looking into the other window. It's not as good as the other side, but it's still not bad. And if you jump up right here, you get a little bit of a bomb angle, but once again, it's not as good as the other side. So now from right here, you can jump up on this ledge, and you can see right into there. And it's not a really common route, but sometimes you'll catch a few people off guard there. And also from this ledge, you can actually check the back window right there from going off the helipad, and you can check to see if anybody's in that window, so that's a great spot to know. And here is also the counter to that spot that I showed you earlier underneath the helipad. If you want to expose yourself more on this catwalk, you can jump up on the railing and you get an even better check spot into that window, but you are extremely exposed here. So now getting into that room that we were just checking, uh, you can jump up on this counter and you can use this as just a check spot as you go from crouch to standing. You can see in there, but you won't be able to really shoot anyone through there, but it's a great way to check that middle area. And finally, I almost forgot these spots, but you can look underneath these desks here um, on both sides, and it's great for a bomb game type like search and destroy or demolition, because there's a bomb site like right to your left here. So that's all I have for you guys for the map drone. In the comments of this video, be sure to post which map you'd like to see next, and if the map that you want to see next has already been posted, then just thumbs up that comment. And... The highest rated comment with the map will be the next video that I do. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys next time.